Gaffer, three days after the Barnsley game at Northampton, what can we expect from them? Tough game. Um, every time I took a team there, it's a tough game, especially on a Tuesday night. Um, a team that used to winning last year. Um, change a little bit the, the way that they're playing this year. But um, no, it'd be every, every single away game in this league, every single home game, if you're not on it, then, then you can lose the game. So um, tough game, tough two games coming up both away from home. Um, but we're in good form. We've we've identified clear ways of improving, clear ways of, of scoring more goals, making more chances, and then we just need to take that forward. Three days on from Barnsley, as we say, it will be tomorrow. Having had a couple of days now to, to look back at it, have your, your thoughts changed at all on the performance and stuff? Not really. It was an excellent performance, full of energy, full, full of athleticism, uh, technical ability, really good passing, good movement, but just that lack, lack of final ball, not in terms of sometimes playing the final ball, it was actually not seeing it and not playing it. So the players are fully aware of it and, and we've made it clear today and shown them exactly, you know, if we can get these little moments right, then we can start scoring more goals, getting more points and, and climbing up the table. So um, I think the players are all on board. They understand it. It also makes their stats a lot better as well. So um, it's just a part part of the game that, you know, we identify something, we look at it and then we get it, we, we put it into practice and improve. When we do go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, particularly when the latter part of the week is away from home, how much of a challenge is that, just preparation-wise? Yeah, you, you, go, you go off off memory of of how you play, and then more or less all of it is video analysis. So the players have obviously, the ones who have played have been on the training pitch today, but it's been more a recovery session, no tactical stuff. So all the tactical stuff will be on video. So it's tough, but you know when you, when you know it's coming, that's why we work a lot in pre-season about what principles we want to work from um, and then you know, I'm trying to think of last Tuesday result I think it was Lincoln <coughs> we played really well so you know we, we trust the players now um, we do give them a little a, a lot of freedom but we have got certain principles and, and the players are fully on board with it big away following going tomorrow and I think fans going to Burton on Saturday I think that's sold out already how much how much does that mean to you knowing that you've got such a, a big backing well it just shows the unity of the club um, we've stepped up a level. Everyone is is buying into where we're going. We believe that we can go somewhere this year, next year, and the year after. So, um, I think it's really good. I think everybody's now looking and, and looking at Leighton Orient and from six years ago where we are now is the club that is united from top to bottom. Um, and the biggest part of that is obviously the chairman and the owners, but the supporters as well. So because they're on board, it makes it a lot easier to do my job, and it makes it a lot more enjoyable. Um, for the players to go out and perform and obviously it makes it more enjoyable for, for us when we get results because we know how good supporters are so um, credit to them every time we go away from home they're fantastic the drummer's helped especially away at Carlisle so hopefully whoever's pat that drum on his back or wherever he, however he takes it he's bringing it um, tomorrow night and we can make a good atmosphere and a good performance and just lastly we had the club partners E.T. Clay here, um, here watching training a few Kids here, and yeah. you had a nice kick about with him. Any, uh, yeah, the kick, stars? the kick about the goalkeeper was very good. Um, a little bit small, but he was very good. Um, and it went on longer than we wanted to, and we got beat three two. We got beat by 15, 16, uh, 12 year olds, 13 year olds. So we tried to win, but they just outnumbered us, and we got tired. So a little bit gutted with that because even though. It's a mess. We actually wanted to win. We got beat three two. Just very lastly, actually, you speak about the unity within the whole club, and that extends to the club partners, doesn't it? And that's you know shown today. Yeah, and if and if I was a sponsor, if I was a local business, if it was a bigger business within London, then I'd want to be associated with Leighton Orient because it, what it stands for is is positive, um, and the way the club is going forward now. We want more exposure. We want more money coming in commercially. Um, and if we can keep that growing and growing and keep the product on the pitch getting better and better, then why can't we make the step up into the championship at some point? And if we get to that, then the club goes, everybody knows that when you step up from League One to the championship, it's a whole new ball game for the players, for the staff, for the supporters, for the club as a whole. Financially, it's a massive, massive jump for us. So that's what we're going forward to. So in terms of our sponsors, fantastic. But if we can keep getting more, it obviously helps the exposure of the club.